I'm back again and today's video is about the f sound. So we're busy with great of phonics and the sounds we already done. Let's just recap on them. We did e, a, p, s, m, e, and today's lesson is all about the f sound. So I hope you're ready. So let's start with the story of f. So Little guy, his grandmother gave him a candle, you know, to just put next to his bed when he goes to sleep. And she reminded him to blow out the candle before he goes to sleep. And that is when he blows it out, it goes. F, f, f. So can you hear the sound? F, f, f. That's when he blows out the candle. So. Now we're going to do some flashcards and you can just shout out the word if you see the picture. And remember, you have to hear the f sound. So think nicely when you see the pictures. Sometimes we can see more than one word in a picture. So let's see what our first picture will be. Ah, oh, so guys, what do you see? Yes, a beautiful bunch of flowers. Can you hear the f sound? Listen to it again. Flowers. And you can hear it in the beginning of the word. So mommies and daddies, when the children give you some f words, always remember to ask them where they hear the f. It's very important um, for them to hear the sound. It's not necessarily in the word. It's not spelt necessarily with that sound, but you can hear it. So let's go on to our next picture. Oh, guys, what do you see? Yes, correct. Feet. Can you hear the f in feet? Oh, what do you see there? A beautiful yellow fish. Can you hear the f fish? Oh, there's our national Flag. Beautiful, guys. Listen nicely. Where do you hear the f in? Flag. Yes, at the beginning. Well done. Oh, what do you see in this picture? I can see two words. I'm going to give you a few seconds. Yes, correct. Laughing. Where do you hear the f in laughing? Do you hear it in the beginning, in the middle? Or at the end? Yes, you hear it in the middle. Laughing. But what other word do you also see in this picture? Think a little bit. Yes, funny. They are funny. That's why they are laughing. Well done, guys. You are super smart. Ooh, what do we have here? Can anyone tell me what this is? Correct. A Flamingo. It's a bird. A beautiful flamingo. Ooh, what is this? Who can tell me? Yes, it is a frog. Ooh, I'm scared of frogs. I don't want to touch them. They're all cold and wet and slippery. Do you guys like frogs? You must tell me. Send me a message or a video and tell me if you like frogs. Let's go on to the next one. Ooh, who can tell me what this is? They are really irritating. And they like to come to your food and sit on your food. Yes, guys, correct. A fly. They're not very pretty, are they? No. Let's go on. Ah, oh, this picture also has two words. Let's think a little bit. You can shout out the answer when you're ready. Yes, correct. A fire. Well done. Can anyone give me another word with this picture? Nicely done. You are super smart. Flames. And you can hear a f in fire and in flames. Let's go on. Ooh. Who can tell me what do they see in this picture? Correct. Fingers. Yes, and we have... Ten fingers. Okay, guys. Now we're going to go on. Now that you know your f sound and you can now also think of your own f words, 
We are going to learn how to write our f correctly. It's very important, guys, that you use your three worker fingers. Do not use all your fingers. You must hold your HP pencil correctly. So let's just get our f pictures here. Okay, are you ready? And remember, we always start from the top. Never do we write from the bottom. Always from the top. So we go around, down the ladder, lift your hand, make a short tail. Let's try this again. We go around, down the ladder, lift our hand and make a short tail. So it's very important that you form your letters correctly and that you use your HP pencil and that you use your three worker fingers. Don't forget, guys, it's very important. Now we have our page. Guys, you recognize this page. It is out of our little guy ebook, our phonics book. So now you need to draw me as much pictures as you can. And let's see who will win the prize of the most pictures. At least draw me 10. And guys, don't just only draw the flashcard pictures. Think of your own pictures. And remember, you get extra points if you draw a new word. So I asked Steve to draw us some pictures. Would you like to see his pictures? Yes, I'm sure. So there we go. These are the pictures that Steve drew for us. Let's see. He drew a flower. And number four, oh, he did some fruit. That's a new word. Flag. Five, that's also a new one. Fan, well done, Steve. That's a good one, also a new one. Oh, giraffe. Oh, that's awesome. Look at that beautiful giraffe. Elephant, that's also a new one. Sure, Steve, you're going to get lots of extra points. Knife, fork, fish, and feathers. Well done to Steve. Now, guys, let's show Steve that you are also super smart. And you can draw us even more pictures. And we will choose a winner. Let's see. Thank you for watching this video and remember to practice your words every single day. So every time you see something that has a word in, you tell mommy or daddy. I cannot wait to see your pictures. Have fun. See you next time and stay safe, guys. And remember to send those videos to, to your teacher or to Steve so that we can send you a message back. Okay, guys. Bye.